Bush. In my previous video here, I shared with you guys a script that you could use to create ambushes in your scenarios. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways on how to set up an ambush in your scenarios without using codes or scripts. All right, so in our little mission here, we're going to use this little town or village as the ambush point for the player. So the player is up here in a Hunter HMG and he is the driver and he has three passengers and of course he has a big gun. He is going to drive down here and get ambushed. We're going to set independent as the enemy. We're going to choose FIA. We're going to go to men and we're going to start placing these units that are going to ambush. So we're going to start with a rifleman. We're going to place him Right about here, you can face this way. We're going to give him a waypoint, and he's going to move right about here, and then here, and then he's going to go right about here, and he's going to guard. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to choose a rifleman AT. We're going to place him right about here, face him this direction. Give him a waypoint. He's going to follow that waypoint out to here. And then he's going to come up here and he's going to guard as well. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to choose a car. We're going to choose a truck and we're going to place the truck right about here. Make him face this direction. And we're going to give him a waypoint and he's going to move all the way to here now if I time this correctly I got him set here but he's going to basically pull the, the point of him is to basically come up here and stop in the middle of the road so this might do it if you put it on the road he might stop shy of it like right about here so if you put it past the road he should stop right about here. All right, the next guy we're going to place is a grenadier. We'll place him down here. We're going to face this direction. We'll give him a waypoint, and then he's going to come up here, and he's also going to guard. Then we're going to go up here, and we're going to choose a auto rifleman, and this guy is going to be about here give him a waypoint he's going to come down here and then about here and then guard as well and then behind the player we're going to choose a marksman he's going to be down the hill here just like the grenadier we're going to give him a waypoint and then waypoint is going to go to the road, then up to this point here, and he's going to guard as well. Next, we go to F3 triggers, and we're going to choose a trigger 10 by 10, and we're going to place that right about here in the center, and we're going to adjust the squareness of it, and then we're going to use the area widget and adjust the size a little bit and we want the ambush right before these fences here the size and everything is fine and we're going to edit the trigger and we're going to set this to activation blue four present then we're going to go to the on activation box and we're going to put a hint hint space quote ambush in capital letters exclamation point end quote, and then semicolon. That'll kind of give the player feedback. Oh, we just drove into an ambush or something like that. Next, we're going to go ahead to connect and then set waypoint activation. And we're going to set the activation to the first waypoint of each of one of these units that are going to be the ambushers. Set waypoint activation and connect that to the trigger. And we're going to also connect it to the first waypoint of the truck so he can move as well. Now if you didn't do this, then 
when the mission starts, each one of these units is going to move to their positions and then the player would still probably be on the way and not hitting the trigger yet. So the set waypoint activation, the point of it, is syncing to the trigger. I mean it's pretty obvious, but for those beginners new to editing, I want to do something like this. The set waypoint activation, once the player enters this trigger, it's going to activate each one of the ambushers first waypoint. And when that happens, then each one of these soldiers, units, will follow their waypoints and, and then when they see the player, they will engage. Right now, currently, independent is friendly to blue four. And how do we know that? We go to attributes, go to general, and then down where it says independence allegiance. Currently they are set to friendly to blue four, so that means they're allies. So to have independent fight or shoot at blue four, we have to make them combative. So that's all you need to do there. So we'll save that. Let's test this out and uh, see what happens. All right, here we go. Enemy. Ambush. I'm going to show you another way to do this, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the 2D map, and we're going to undo the set point, set waypoint activation for all of these guys. And to do that, all you need to do is just click on the waypoint for the unit that is to move. And just kind of disable it, kind of reset it up, but you're uh, unsyncing it. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to show you a module that you could use to do the same thing, except it's more efficient in terms of hiding the units. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to F5 systems, and then we're going to go to object modifiers, and then down to where it says show hide module. We're going to place a module and we're going to edit that module and you have two options here. You have groups of synchronized objects and you have synchronized objects only. Now synchronized objects only that is referring to like say one unit. So if you're going to use a soldier then that would be one unit. Now if you wanted to use groups that means you have multiple soldiers in, a, in the same group. That's what you would use this but we're only using one guy and we're going to use that. So then you have hide units and you have show units. So we're going to leave this as hide units and then we're going to copy this module and paste it. And the reason why I did that is because when you place a module, you edit its settings, then whatever you copy and then paste it, it'll maintain those settings. So see it's already synchronized objects only and then action will set this to show units. So for this we're going to actually flip-flop these and make this go like that. Place those right there. So this should be the show units and this should be the hide units. All right, so we're going to sync both of these to the unit. Now one is going to show and one is going to hide. So this one's going to show. This one is going to hide the unit. Now for this show unit module, Part to work, you're going to have to sync it to the trigger. So when the player goes to this trigger, it will show this unit and he will follow his waypoint and do what he's supposed to do. So now what we do here is we just copy these two modules just as they are and go over here and we do the same thing. We'll just put it right here. While they're highlighted, sync them both. To the vehicle, 
that looks right. Yeah, that's right. And then we unhighlight. If you want to know if something's highlighted or not and you can't tell, if you click on one of them, you'll see it light up in the entities panel here. When it's highlighted like that, that means you can access it and edit it for those beginners. So this is going to be the show units. And we take that one. We sync that to the trigger. And then we go over here. Copy these. And go to the next guy. Now their position doesn't make any difference. You could have the show hide modules on the other side of the map for all that matters as long as they are synced to the object that you want to hide and then show, then it'll it'll work. And then we sync this one, which is the show units. Sync that to the trigger. And then the modules still should be in your clipboard, so Paste them again. You gotta make sure which one is which on this. We will sync these to the unit. And this one is show units, and that's hide. So this one we gotta sync to the trigger. And then this one, that should be show units, all right? Connect that to the unit itself, and then we sync this to the trigger. And we got one more to do. Make sure we have the right ones. Show units, hide units. Sync that to the trigger. There you go. Just save that. Now this is ideal for more flatter terrain because on a terrain like this you can pretty much hide all the units like we did with the waypoints themselves. So it can work like that but if you use like more of a flat open terrain and you wanted you know the units not to be seen by the player or anybody before you know they reach the ambush point and go through the trigger then the show hide modules are ideal for that because it'll it'll hide them deactivate them until the player goes to the trigger. All right, let's test it out and uh, see how that plays out. All right, here we go. Ambush. Sometimes you have to test things out to make sure they work. Like this truck initially, when I set the waypoint on the road, he, he stopped part way. But now when you run it past, he actually stops on the road. And that's exactly what I wanted. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you learned something here. I hope uh, you find something useful from it. And for those beginners, I hope uh, this gives you some ideas on how to do some things with waypoints and show hide modules. For more tutorials, take a look at this playlist.